So guys, welcome back to part two of our auto mechanic series. And today, guys, we're changing the oil on our van. So what we would need is we need a socket wrench, a breaker bar, two jack stands, a jack, a funnel, a place to store oil, two oil filters, and some oil. As you can check your car manual, or you can go to the auto part to find out what oil filter you would need. We have two right now, because this one... This is just the canister, and then this one is just a paper, just a little paper filter. Sometimes you might need a special tool to help you take off the oil filter. You can check your car manual and see if you, if you need it. Alright, let's get started. Let's put on our gloves, then we'll jack up the car like we did in our last video. Now we're going to move the jack stand under the car just like we did on the other video for safety. This is an oil container and what it does is it catches all the oil so we're going to slide it under and we're gonna unscrew a nugget and the oil pan would open up and we would drain all the oil from the engine. And if you wouldn't use this oil container, then it would basically be a ginormous mess. So let's get started. We're gonna grab the wrench and then we can unscrew the bolt to the oil pan. So guys, I found an easier way of doing this, a skateboard, but as others might call them, a creeper. Oh, uh oh, that felt warm. It looks like chocolate. All right, so we're draining all the oil, but how are we gonna get the oil up in there? guys once all the oil is drained out now we're gonna put the bolt back in all right once the bolts back on the pan and we're all and it's all tight now we're able to change the oil filter we're gonna take out the old oil filter and replace it with the new one this is the type of oil filter that we have. This is the canister that we, this is for this car. So guys, the oil filter is just right up here, but it's pretty hard to get a picture. So we probably won't have a picture, but you can find it in your car. Next, make sure you move the oil pitcher under where the oil filter would be. the old one just put all the oil in the oil catcher so once you get the new one I'm gonna take it out of the box and then I'm gonna put some a little bit of oil on the tip on my finger and I'm just gonna go around the rim of it And now we're all ready to install. This type of tool can help you remove the oil filters, but it only works on the paper kind, uh, which this car does not have, so we're not able to use it this time. We can remove the oil container and remove both of the jack stands. Then we just have to put in the oil. So our next step is to remove the oil cap and put the new oil in. 
some cars may take four quarts, which is a gallon. So, yeah, so the funnel here is we're going to put it right here. We're going to unscrew one, and we're going to tip it in and put four, um, four quarts into here. So, guys, now we're going to pour, pour it into the funnel. It smells fantastic. If you check your car manual, it will tell you how many quarts of oil you would have to put in. Ours said four, so we put it in. And after, we'll show you how to check this part of the oil. Check your car to see if the dipstick is somewhere. Right here it is. And what you would do is, you see, it's just a little rod. You would put it down this hole. And you would put it all the way down. And you would pull it right back up, and the oil has to kind of be between these two, and ours is at the first, so we need to make it to the um, second one by adding more oil. So we're only going to add about half of it. This should be, no. That should be about half. So guys, really what you have to do left is you have to put on the cap, you have to start the cart, and you're really done. So, we'll put on the cap and seal it on, and then we'll go start the car. And yeah, that, that's about the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, please subscribe, and also please comment. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!
Thank you.